I brought this with me because I'm sure, if you read the New York Times, which I'm sure you do, this was yesterday's paper. It was just about it's life or death. U.S. teenagers face a mental health crisis. Um, then this morning, there was an article in, in New Jersey Spotlight that uh, titled COVID's Other Toll, Mental Health of Nurses. Um, so it, it, I believe, and I think you would agree, we have a mental health crisis in, 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 across the country in New Jersey. Um, the article states, and I read the whole article, American adolescence is going, undergoing a, a drastic change three decades ago. The gravest public health threats to teenagers in the U.S. came from binge drinking, teenage pregnancy, and smoking. These have since fallen sharply, replaced by a new public health concern, soaring rates of mental health disorders. In 2019, 13% of adolescents reported having a major depressive e episode, a 60% increase from 2007. ER visits also rose sharply for anxiety, mood disorders, and self-harm. And suicide rates, stable from 2000 to 2007, rose nearly 60% by 2018. And these are numbers all prior to COVID. Uh, the Surgeon General warned of a devastating mental health crisis among adolescents. What are the plans of, of your department to address this? And my second part of that question is, what are the plans to increase the number of mental health providers in the state of New Jersey? Well, you do know that mental health services is under the purview of DHS and um, uh, some of it uh, DCF, but primarily DHS. Um, the um, Department of Health um, manages uh, four psychiatric hospitals. Uh, it's pretty much the, um, and licenses uh, others, but that's, um, that's our role. On the other hand, uh, I certainly can't ignore the fact that uh, front, the PTSD of frontline workers is significant. We know that 20 to 30 percent of the nursing workforce uh, is going to retire shortly, some because they come of age, some because uh, maybe they were going to hold on a little bit longer, but uh, being on the front lines during the pandemic has uh, really in emotionally impacted nurses and all frontline workers mm -hmm. um, significantly. We know that, uh, that um, enrollments in nursing schools are up uh, nationally, 3.5% could be as high as about 5%, but not enough to cover uh, the loss that we're going to have because of the impact of uh, retirements and the impact of the pandemic. So uh, the mental well-being uh, is something that the Department of Health is concerned about. Uh, our role is tangential to supporting uh, what DHS is doing, to supporting what the hospital association is doing, what the long-term care task force um, recommendations will be. And we certainly stand ready whatever role we can play because I think it's, an, it's, a, it's a significant issue. It, whether it, I know that part of the problem with nursing education is the number of instructors. The same with the CNAs, which I discussed earlier this morning. Is there any work within your department to, to, to increase the number of instructors, either at the schools of nursing or, and or for the CNAs, so we can increase that number? We spoke about this earlier this morning with the county colleges. They're ready to go. They don't have the instructors because of some of the regs. And I think if we could work together to change those regs to allow RNs who they have to right now have to have a year of full-time employment at a long-term care facility in order to be an instructor, whereas you have master's prepared nurses, advanced practice nurses, who could also be doing that role. So, it, 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 Okay, so I don't believe there are regulations. That's not our role, the Department of Health. Uh, our role is, though, to certify CNAs and 500,000 to go in the budget that goes to the, um, the institute. Uh, is to uh, develop um, a stronger uh, cadre of CNAs, uh, particularly to work uh, in uh, long-term care. At least that's, uh, that's our hope. Yeah, well, again, if we can work to get these instructors, that would be a, a first step toward getting those CNAs. Yeah, I'm not sure what our role is at the department. Okay. To I, was, I was informed that it was, through, that they weren't, that it was the regs about the instructors. Mm -hmm. So, okay, thank you.